Well, now let's check in on how bond markets are trading with Jessica Russett from Fig Securities. Jessica, good to see you. Now, the US Treasury yields were lower overnight. Was that on the US retail sales for April? Hi, Helen. Yes, that's correct. Uh, they were lower. We had our retail sales coming in at 0.4%. They were expecting a 0.6% rise. And on top of that as well, CPI came in quite benign as well. We had core CPI coming in at 0.1% rise and the expectation was 0.2%. And so on the back of that, we did have our US Treasury yields lower. The two was lower by six basis points and we had the 10 moving lower seven basis points. Yeah, so did, I mean, North Korea firing that, what, seventh ballistic missile, did that raise um, issues for bonds? It, it does. Whenever we have those geopolitical tensions out there, that certainly does reflect in, in bond yields in that it is this uncertainty that comes through the markets and there is demand for safe haven assets, which are bond, bonds are one of them. And so we did also see those tensions coming through and demand for safe haven and that moved the bond yields lower as well. Yeah, and does that play into Australian government bond yields too? Yeah, we did see uh, on the back of that, that same sentiment flow through here to the Australian um, government bonds. Uh, we had the five year uh, breaking through 2.1%. Uh, so it's actually around the lows it has been for the month and that's currently at 2.09%. And we also had the 10 year as well um, off its highs of last week for the month and that's currently at 2.58%. Now we've got some upcoming economic data. The RBA minutes from May, um, the May meeting are released tomorrow. What are you expecting? We're actually expecting no real surprises to come through there. I, I think the RBA will reaffirm its neutral bias. Uh, it's really in a tight spot at the moment. On one hand, it's got low inflation and, and low, low wage growth. But on the other hand, there's high household debt coming through. So I think they're quite constrained on any uh, rate movements for this year. All right, Jessica Russett from Fig Securities. We'll leave it there. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me, Helen.